The Turbo Yet emerged in 1957, making it to be one of the strangest VTOLs of its time. Ironically, even without any flight controllers or automation, it was pretty stable and could be manually controlled with deflector reins underneath the engine. It was pretty crazy for its time, and somehow it's reminiscent of modern day electric VTOLs. Ultimately, aircraft can be very strange, unconventional without the right technology. But with a few innovations, the strangest designs can become mainstream, emphasizing the fact that the future is very tricky to envision. So from hoverboards to flying cars, let's take a look at some of the craziest aircraft out there. Remember the copter pack, which was likely tethered in a promotion video? Well, now the second variant of the all electric propulsion unit has come out with more questions about the stability of the platform. It appears to be controlled with two joysticks along with an autopilot self-leveling system. The Skynet prototype is not yet available to the public and there are still many questions about whether or not this is a feasible aircraft. Moving on, we get to the Sky Pack. Yet another personal vehicle can displace jetpacks with a pitch design. Over 12 rotors are used for a maximum payload of 200 pounds at 30 minutes with a hybrid generator. And with the current battery technology state, this is probably more of a feasible idea. The exposed V1 has undergone one year of testing with no confirmed manned flights as of yet. But the next variant will enclose the rotors along with the ability to tilt both the bottom and top bars. At number 5, the Omni Hoverboard. Technically, this is the first propeller-based aeronautical vehicle meant for freestanding. The Green Goblin machine is pretty straightforward with 8 rotors, snowboarding boots and bindings along with a hand throttle. There is no flight controller, gyros or accelerometers, utilizing only an adrenal chip for sending throttle response to the ESCs. This type of flying machine is not just limited to props and batteries, as Zapata jet-powered flyboard air can also do incredible flying maneuvers. Powered by five jet engines, it is the smallest redundant aircraft ever created. It also has crossed the English Channel, which is pretty commendable for this type of thing. But having said that, this is probably built only for the extreme enthusiast. Airwind's technology makes drones and unmanned aerial vehicles. They have taken it to the next level with a manned hover bike, which will soon be marketed for around 800 grand. They hope to have more of a reasonable price in a few years as production ramps up. It is a gas electric hybrid capable of a maximum range of around 40 kilometers. We have seen these types of vehicles before used in Dubai, but whether or not this is actually practical for police forces is another question. And this brings us to the company which actually built the hover bike. Ironically, they are now building a full scale flying car. Features include GPS, AI object recognition, and rollover protection. Max speed is around 200 km per hour at a range of around 100 km. Not much has been known about the ground powertrain, but supposedly it can maneuver itself into a parking spot or even store itself in a garage. The flying car concept has been around for some time with only a handful of companies producing real working prototypes. x pain has just mocked the entire idea and strapped a huge octocopter platform to a 4,000 pound car. The heavy mass needs a hefty reinforced frame, and there seems to be no ability to transform the car without demolishing nearby cars on the road. Aero HT has released some future concepts with a transformative design, but this is probably one that will be easily surpassed by a hybrid powertrain that does not weigh over 2 tons. Many electric VTOLs are coming out. Some are impressive, and others are just completely bizarre. But there is no doubt that vectored thrust can help increase flight times. Incorporating fly-free technology, the Integrity VTOL will be able to automatically position with four independent platforms. U Miles Next has already made a prototype capable of flying two people at a max speed of around 120 km per hour. Flight time is still around 15 minutes, so it's not that great, and it's definitely dependent on advancement in battery energy densities. But it's already proven to be quite stable with a redundant rotor system that is capable of multiple failures. It is a very good debate on whether or not these aircraft will rain the skies one day, as they are still very susceptible to automation and powertrain capabilities. But having said that, it is very interesting to see all the different electric vehicles that are coming out, and there have been strides made in recent years. More importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these different types of aircraft. 
So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.